want to see someone systematically disprove everything you have read about trading stocks and expose how and why you will consistently lose money if you aren't doing it right? Click the link in the description to check it out for yourself. But now for today's video. The question, what is the ideal time frame for intraday swing trading? Answer by, Anu Pamtakur. Ideal time frame? This question is just a doubt in mind for every new trader, nothing else. Let me explain. Look at this image. In above image you can see, in one day chart, price level 561, and around, has acted as support and resistance more than 5 times from Jan 17. There are many traders who are using one day time frame for entering and exiting the trade. Now please look at images below. In above image you can see, same price zone acted as support and resistance in 30 minutes time frame. It means many traders are using 30 minute time frame for entering and exiting trades. If you look at the images below, you will find that same price zone around 561 is working as support and resistance in 15, 10, 5, 3, 1 minutes time frame. You can see price zone 561,563 is affecting trend in every time frame. From 1 day to 1 minute time frame is used in about equal proportion by traders. In day trading also traders use time frame between 1 hour to 1 minute. Most of them use multi time frame for trading. All new traders should begin with a long term approach, only getting shorter term as they see success with a longer term strategy. This way, as the margin of error increases with shorter term charts and more volatile information, the trader can dynamically make adjustments to risk and trade management. Answer by, Louis Wynn. It depends on what you trade. A time frame for FX isn't the same as for stocks. A time for tech stocks isn't the same as for, say, retail stocks. It may sound weird to you that different stocks have different time frames, or shall I say that each sector has different types of investors slash traders following it. About 18 years ago, back in the tech bubble days of 2000, there was a study put out by a major bank saying, the same people who trade a certain sector, say tech stocks, would remain unchanged in the next 5 to 7 years. In other words, you have the same group of people following a certain sector for quite some time. What does that tell you? It tells you that stocks have characteristic, meaning the aggregate behaviors of the people following slash trading that sector give the sector, and by extension, certain stocks in that sector characteristics. So to trade it effectively, you must know certain patterns that the stocks you're following exhibit. Too often I've seen newcomers asking questions like this or questions that aim to find the holy grail in trading only to get some kind of generic answers. So before you arbitrarily pick a time frame, you may want to follow your stocks for a while until you can see a pattern emerge. For example, you may see a stock usually goes up the first 45 minutes of trading, settles down for half to three quarters of the day, then either close strong or sell into the close. Until you see something like that, will you be able to formulate a plan of attack and within which a time frame is chosen? Answer by Pravesh Sahu. In swing trading, the stocks are kept from one day to several of days. Thus swing trading involves a bigger movement than the intraday trading system. The profits or the loss incurred in the swing trading is more than that of intraday trading. The brokerage charged for swing trading is much more than the intraday trading style. The swing trading should always be done with caution as the chances of heavy losses are more. The trader should adopt some well-tested strategy for swing trading. The concepts of risk management, as well as wealth management, are important in swing trading. A proper stop loss also helps the trader to trade effectively. In the intraday trading, the stocks are bought and sold on the same day. The movement in the prices of the stocks in a single day will define the intraday profit or loss. The important concept in the intraday trading is an intraday trend. Most of the traders trade on the basis of the intraday trend. The trend can be uptrend, downtrend and flat trend. Also, the trend should be differentiated as the short-term, long-term or medium-term trend. It is a known fact that the intraday trading is difficult to master. 